It's apocalypse time. Welcome everyone to the most amazing zombie apocalypse add-on that currently is in the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition and it is this the zombie apocalypse true survival created by 4world studio. So if you want to download this for yourself links are in the description down below. So once you have it imported make sure you have the resource pack enabled and in the behavior packs that these two packs are enabled. Yes, there's two because you can actually get a you can get a structure one. So one of these two are the structure ones. I don't know which one. I believe it's this one with the three little dots up here. Make sure both of them active to enhance the gaming experience. And in the world settings that these experimental gameplay features are enabled. And they are all day creative features, custom biomes, and upcoming creative features. Was all that enabled? Up into the world. Now before we begin the review I would like to say there is so much that this am amazing add-on adds that I'm not going to cover everything. As you can see there's like a burning vehicle behind me, some zombies in the distance and we're standing on an abandoned house. There's so much this amazing add-on adds and I won't be able to cover it all. So this is just a quick overview. Now as we begin we can see that my hotbar is indeed different. It has its own unique texture to it as well as just normal single chests over here. Now it's only this type of chest. If you make it a double chest, it does lose that texture, but these just normal chests look like they're abandoned and very spooky. Hello, Mr. Zombie, pat, pat, pat. Over here, we have all the spawnables. So this is all you can spawn in, like the gang member, the, all these amazing other things you can spawn in, sleeping bags, bicycles, shopping carts, and such. So there's a bunch of cool little Easter eggs, I would say, with all these stuff you can spawn in, which is super neat and cool. Now to begin, let's just grab a couple of these things. Let's grab that, 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 and this over here, as well as a raft. So we have a nice little load out here let's still grab a bicycle i'm not going to go too detail on all the different types of mobs so here we go this is a sleeping bag it's a sleeping bag you can set your checkpoint it's super cool over here we've got a zombie island golem just look at that creepy iron golem what have they done to you next up it's probably my favorite item it's a shopping cart it's born in the shopping cart just look at that look at the detail on this it looks amazing i don't know if you can interact with it oh yes you can look at in a shopping cart and i can go around can i jump no i can't but it is amazing it has a walmart bag in front Whee! not gonna lie it's a bit slow moving on we have got a sentry gun just look at this bad boy very intimidating i don't know if you can like control it but it is very intimidating we also have proximity mines just look at that i think if you step on it, it will explode or with zombies it will explode it Yep, next we have a Vortex Mixer. Now I know, I believe this is how you make like cures and all that. Look at that. I absolutely love the details in these models. They look amazing. Next up we have a raft. Let me go find some water to spawn this on. Down here we go. Let's spawn the raft. Let's hop on the raft. And as you can see, we have a giant raft. And it looks very, very post-apocalypse like survival raft looking thing looks amazing and finally we've got a bicycle that is green so there we go it lays on its side when it's not being used and when you ride it it stands up and you can hop around with this amazing bicycle you can get some real airtime as you can see <laughs> moving on from that we have all these items it adds into the game by the way just look at that beautiful sign so let's hop into the first one just look at the amount of stuff added you get all different types of things so here we go. I'm going to just go quickly through all these so you guys can see what they are. Creepy dragon head, by the way. There's all these different armors. They added wood armor. They added backpacks. They have added all these different knives and cleavers into the game. As well as weapons, of course. Like the scar. So let's grab a few things out of this first one. Let's grab some armor. As well as night vision. Let's grab that. Let's grab the backpack. Let's grab a knife. Let's grab stones. Let's grab the scar of course. And we'll leave the rest for you guys to try out. So here we go. Let's throw on some of the armor. Let's go here and throw it on. Look at that. I look like an oak log. We also got a zombie vindicator tunic. So just look at that. I look pretty snazzy. And of course a night vision goggles. Which indeed gives you night vision. If you can see right there, super awesome. Now, probably the most creepiest thing in this add-on is the zombie dragon head. Just look at this. It looks very unsettling. And for the backpack, you can kind of like hold it. And then you have it on your back, which is cool. I don't know if you can access it 
But it does look cool on your back. And now we've got a little tiny little knife. Just look at this. You can slap people with it. It's very cute and small. Just look at that ragdoll physics as well. And we've got some stones that we can place down just to add aesthetics to the builds. Which I absolutely love. I wish Minecraft had these to begin with. And finally we've got the scar that has its own crosshair floating. Which is very nice and very aesthetically pleasing. Let's find something to shoot. Hello zombie down here. Let me get to you. Hello zombie. And you can shoot your scar. As you can see there's ammo and everything. Very well done. Now moving on to the next chest. We have even more different weapons. And of course we get katanas. But here let's go through the quick overview of all the different items added into this amazing add-on right here. Of course you gotta love the katanas. You gotta love the frying pan coming up. It's amazing. You get all the different bike components to build your very own bike. And you get a lot of different uniforms to wear if you want to. So, of course, we're going to grab a few things. It's got to get the RPG. Got to get a katana. Got to get a grenade and smoke bomb. So, let's start off with the lab coat. It doesn't do anything, but it's, it's just an item. I believe you can probably use it for crafting recipes or something. Next up, we have an RPG. Someone walked down the landmine, didn't they? But just look at this RPG. And bang! It didn't explode, but bang! Oh, there you go, it exploded. So it takes a bit of time for it to explode, but when it does, it's a very devastating explosion. And of course, you've got the cute little pink katana, which is cool. And it does indeed do damage. As you can tell. We've also got a smoke grenade that throws so much smoke out. Absolutely love the model on it, by the way. Same with the grenade. You throw it, you wait for a bit, and then it will explode and deal a lot of damage. You've got a nice baseball bat. So you can bat some people. Again, we got another one of these jackets that don't do much, but four crafting recipes are needed. Moving on, we have more of the miscellaneous items here with different foods and like collectibles. So here's all the different gross and cool foods like zombie burn brain and that's very gross. But there's a bunch of other stuff here that you guys can see. It's just amazing. Add so many different items and different ingots into the game. As well, this is how you build the raft right here and all that goodness. And then the final one, we have a bit more miscellaneous like sentry senses and that's how you build the sentry turret and all these. You gotta love the toilet paper by the way. And all these other different items here. And these are all the different cures for different types of zombies. Now as you can see already, there's a bunch of different type of structures that are spawned. Here's just a little house. Over here we've got a nice big building over here. And there's also a whole bunch of stuff randomly placed in the world. Like if I find it quickly, there's a shopping bag down here. Just look at this. It's a Walmart bag. What is it doing here and how? And of course you saw this amazing car explosion right here. Now if you're wondering what it looks at night, let's just quickly change it to night. Just look at that moon. It's very ominous and very scary. And if you're wondering what it looks like in survival, this is how it looks in survival as well. Nothing much looks different. Your hearts aren't changed. But your hot bar is. The only difference is these guys want a snack. Ah! And for the interest sake, if you're wondering what it looks like when you die, this is how it looks when you die. You get this very custom death screen right here. Well, there you have it. That's the best zombie apocalypse add-on in the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So if you did enjoy, comment down Zambi in the comment section down below. But, but other than that, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see ya.